Hello everyone. Hope you guys are well. This is Laura coming to you today from the Last Days Ministries. And today I want to talk to you um, from an article called The Polemics Report and give you an update of what is happening with Clayton Jennings. <sighs> anyway, it's, it's not good. Let's just say it's pretty bad. But let's just say God is in control, right? He's always in control. So here we have this article, um, and I'll leave the link underneath for those of you who want to have a look. Forgive me if I forget in the beginning, because I'm a bit dozy when it comes to stuff like that, but I usually get there in the end. Anyway, um, it says here, Home audio proof, Clayton Jennings victims being blackmailed. So now, and they're being threatened. So now what's happening is he's trying to threaten his victims. Um, I'm going to read this to you and uh, so you'll see what I'm talking about here and it says this and it, this is written on the 28th of February which is today um, so it's very much up to date um, so and it's the blog is by JD Hall okay so you know that I'm giving proper references to proper to the people that have written this information I'm just giving you the information anyway harbor shores church in noblesville indiana which revo revoked the ministry license of uber promiscuous evangelist clayton jennings met this last sunday night to determine what should happen to his father don jennings polemics report gave audio to the elders at harbor shores of don jennings meeting with his wife lisa son clayton Clayton's victim and victim's mother, that audio demonstrates that John, Don Jennings, see I thought Don Jennings didn't know, but actually he did. Don Jennings knew about his son's behavior and chose to sweep it under the rug. Now this is the pastor of their church. And then it says here, it didn't take long for Don to turn against the elders of his own church who acted with great integrity regarding Clayton and to seek to pit the church against them as well. At the meeting on Sunday night, a negotiation process left Don exiting the church in April with an 18-month severance package of full salary and benefits um, and the title of senior pastor Emeritus and his wife owning the rights to the Easter play the church puts on annually seriously what is with the show bus biz addiction <laughs> this family has jd says anyway so now the pastor basically has been thrown out don jennings is gone so he's not going to be the pastor anymore this man here he's not going to be the pastor because he covered everything up um so anyway so let's keep going um the church was not told about Don's cover-up of Clayton's sin, so we posted the following on our Facebook page. This is on, uh, I think it's on the pulpit and pen page. Because of the decision by Harbour Shores elders, we will release audio of Don Jennings on Tuesday that will demonstrate, one, he knew of Clayton's behaviour, two, he covered up Clayton's behaviour, three, he was spiritually abusive to Clayton's victims. We will also be releasing more testimonies and evidence from Clayton's victims. These elders knew it and they already heard it and chose peace over truth. We will correct the error and speak truth. Okay, so this is someone, I think one of the victims, that he's been blackmailing. And he says that it's somebody else is blackmailing him on behalf of him. Uh, anyway, let's just read this. I awoke after midnight later that evening with the terrified, crying woman, crying victim of Clayton Jennings on the line. So this is J.D. Hall. While Jennings had made repeated failed threats to his victims in his rap videos, now I showed you that, talking about possible legal action and spitting hateful vitriol to his haters video and you saw that as well and if you haven't seen the first video of this you need to go and watch the first one and then this is the second video 
this is the update. Please do. Um, spitting, sorry, spitting hateful vitriol in his haters video. He hasn't even been so bold as to directly threaten this particular victim. We, we were, we are aware, however, of Jen, Jennings threatening to ruin the careers of other victims. But this was the first time someone reached out to this particular young woman and very explicitly attempted to blackmail her. Now here is the blackmailer, okay? I hope you guys can see this. Now they blacked it out, aka self-proclaimed, obviously some, someone's name, let's just call her Mary. Mary, aka self-proclaimed innocent victim, quote unquote. We found you through a source at pul Pulpit and Pen. Um, we did our research and we found out a lot of interesting facts. Sex with a boyfriend in such and such a place. Scandalous pictures on the internet. Fired from a job for racial comments. Lies in an article about an evangelist and his side of the story which was very telling. Three popular publications have been given this information and these pictures. We will be flooding the internet with your story, your name, your pictures and your lies. If one more article comes out on pulpit and pen, we will be the first, um, you will be the first lying victim, quote unquote, we expose to the world. The others will come next. We love the full story and we are ready to tell it along with a lot of proof we have. Oh. Okay, and it says here at the end, do you want to let, and then has a big black, send you messages from now on. They'll only know you've seen their request if you choose allow. So, okay, so the next one that's threatening here. Um, now, I'll, I'll explain this black here in a second. Are going, okay blank are going to be really uh, are people are going to be I don't know what that blank is are going to be really be, be surprised when they know why you got fired from such a place if we have to tell them one more article will expose everything <coughs> okay notice several things here first the blackmailer claims they're not Clayton Jennings <laughs> But then goes on to explain that they are apparently working with J Clayton Jennings. Jennings was happy to give them his side, quote unquote, of the story. Which, by the way, if if he had a compelling side of the story, that would explain away his prolific. Oh, which, by the way, if he had a compelling side of the story, what would explain away his prolific promiscuity while in ministry, his getting girls drunk in order to lower their inhibitions. And is telling them to take morning after pills. Would he have told it by now? And B would they have sued him sued us for libel? But he can't. Because we're telling the truth. Clearly Jennings didn't receive any such information from a source at pulpit and pen, quote unquote. Nor are we aware of whatever bizarre accusations he presented. The only people who know the identity of the victims are me and my editor. Clayton Jennings and whoever he has told the ridiculous claims that three major publications he later tagged the victims in post for Fox, CNN, MSNBC would help him to his, in his exhortation efforts demonstrate that we are dealing with a real narcissist with delusions of grandeur who thinks it's everything, it's everybody else who is stupid. And I would say as well, guys, this is sociopathic traits. Let's look at this. I'd say he's a sociopath as well because let's just look. This one trait leads to other characteristics of a sociopath. The sociopath feels no empathy, no emotion. The socio sociopath is encumbered by feelings such as Fear, anxiety, stress, depression um, is unencumbered. Sorry, the sociopath is unencumbered by feelings such as fear, anxiety, stress, depression, remorse, guilt, caring, and love. Um, so, you know, 
16 let's have a look at this here um, they give you some information on how to spot um, okay so this is in a, uh, this is in the antisocial personality disorder superficial charm and good intelligence absence of delusions and other signs of irrational thinking absence of nervousness or neurotic manifestations unreliability untruthfulness and insincerity lack of remorse and shame inadequately motivated antisocial behavior poor judgment and failure to learn by experience pathological egocentricity and incapacity for love general poverty in major effective reactions specific loss of insight unresponsive in general interpersonal relations fantastic and uninviting behavior with alcohol and sometimes without suicide threat suicide threats rarely carried out now the amount of times he went to those women oh, i want to die i was abused as a child sex life impersonal trivial and poorly integrated yeah, like he used that girl. Remember, he used those women, and he told you, "I had no feelings for you at all." Failure to ally, follow any life plan. Okay, so this is what this man, I believe, is. He's totally sociopathic, to say the least, um, and obviously a narcissist. Um, so he's he's dangerous. He's actually quite dangerous, um, mentally you know obviously and spiritually very 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 dangerous so okay so just go back up here guys sorry about this okay so now these blank pictures he's going to explain this now here now this is this is what the blank pictures are about threatening to release swimwear photos to the public we have blocked out the images which are not nude nor near or near nu near nude but two piece swimsuit photos that the blackmailer thought might be considered scandalous proof that the woman has been in establishments that sell alcohol for suit he writes anyway and threatening to release other personal information that has been given to clayton jennings we can prove he was given the information that quote unquote anonymous person now threatens her with team jennings is literally terrorizing the victims who have, have already come forward and making threat towards those he might he thinks might come forward <coughs> now this is a matter of both federal and local law enforcement and i really do that they i really hope this is just me speaking here that they do get the police involved because this guy is nuts he, he shouldn't be on the street He's going around hurting women and, and essentially raping women, you know, and, and claiming to be a Christian. It's horrendous. <sighs> Father God, protect these women. Tim Jennings is literally terrorizing the victims already come forward and made threats towards those he think might come forward. Now this is a matter for both federal and local law enforcement to determine if the blackmailer is the very same person as Clayton Jennings. But at the very least, rest assured that the person is, quote unquote, Team Jennings. If it isn't Clayton himself, they're talking they're talking to Clayton, working with Clayton and um and extremely motivated in having no more victims step forward, no additional proof released. And no audio of Don Jennings being made public because there is audio of Don Jennings. Now they haven't brought it up yet, but they're very much thinking that they're going to bring it up. They're going to play play it online for everyone to hear. And at the moment they haven't put it up, but when they do, I'll I'll do another update video and we'll go with that. Um who else cares about whether or not we release info on Clayton, Clayton and Don besides Clayton and Don or people very, very closely associated with them? Make no mistake about it, Team Jennings, which included Don Jennings himself, is a ruthless, ruthless outfit and are perfectly willing and ready and threatening to ruin the lives of the girls that Clayton made fake marriages promise, fake marriage promises to 
or groomed with tall tales of many lies, who had the sense to come to repentance and try to make things right. More young women were blackmailed the next morning. See image below again demanding that we not release our information at P at pump pulpit and pen lest we ruin the young woman. Okay, so it has follow request, approve, ignore requests. Scene something something mentioned you in a comment. You can thank some friends at something for the other pictures we have on you. We don't like liars who play the victim card. Tomorrow you will finally be famous all across the internet if we cho choose to expose you. And this sounds kind of like the mafia. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like the Don. You know, this doesn't sound, this has nothing to do with our precious Lord Jesus Christ. And I know those of you who are Christians and are listening know that for a fact. But this has got nothing to do with our precious Lord and Saviour. He's absolutely disgusted with all of this. Absolutely disgusted. Okay, so let's keep going. Such and such mentioned you in a comment. What happened to the many, many pictures of you drinking alcohol and partying? Oh, we have them. We have all of them. A source at Pulpit and Pen gave us your names and um, something's names. The internet is going to love finding out your names, your lies and the truth. Um, Blank should check her messages before we and three big online publications release everything about you tomorrow. And then it has Blank mentioned you in a comment. Check out your messages. We have down here blank mentioned you in whatever additionally okay so here, here we are additionally harbor shores members need to speak to their elders and ask them direct questions regarding whether or not clayton jennings made threats towards them or their family he did but they need to hear that directly from their elders and should ask them to be forthright about this pattern of behavior. Jennings even gave a veiled threat towards them in this open letter, which I'm going to pop on over here. Okay, so this was written a while ago. Let's just we'll go with this. Clayton says in his new church, unlike the old one, ostensibly, is full of grace and love. Then he downplays the significance of his spiritual abuse and reputed lifestyle of fornication during ministry and suggests it should be forgotten, bragging about the numbers of people he ministers to. Now we saw that in the last video where he's at this meeting and you know he says, oh the rival's not there and then he turns around and all these people and they're going, oh, they're whooping and wailing and I sort of rebuked them and said you should be ashamed of yourselves. Anyway, so this is what he writes. We are with a new church now that is filled with grace and love. We are so excited about the future that, that all and all that God has planned. <laughs> right now God is planning to rebuke you in such a huge way. Um, Clayton, you may think you've gotten away with it on the earth. And even if you do get away with it on the earth, you're not getting away with it when you stand before God. You're just not. I understand that being a public figure <laughs> comes with attacks from people and the press. I also understand that I am guilty of certain sins in the past that I wish I could take back. No, you don't, because you haven't repented. You haven't repented, Clayton. Thankfully, God forgives and forgets. Yes, he forgives if you repent, but you haven't repented. You've rebelled. Even when others tried to hold it over, over your head and gossip lie about it, God gave me this platform over a million people to preach the gospel and not point my, my people to myself. I am flawed and so are you. We all desperately need Jesus. Now, if you go back and look at my first video, you'll see him talking about me. And it's all about him. I, I wrote these poetry and I blah, blah, blah. And I, I, I. And it's all about him. It really is. It's all about him. Now, as far as giving a, um, God gave him a million people, that means absolutely nothing. It means nothing. And I'll tell you why it means nothing. Because Jesus is the one that draws the people onto him. It's by the Holy Ghost. He does it. Now, when we preach the gospel, the remnant of the Lord God will respond. They will respond. They will go, okay, yes. Those people that the Lord knows will get saved. Now, he, 
having said all of that, the Lord has no desire for the wicked to perish. He doesn't. That's just a fact he doesn't. He loves everything that he has created. Right? But this man is in such horrendous rebellion. It, it just, you know, it, it, like the fact that he's standing up there it means nothing. There are many quote unquote uh, um, people that uh, reach to millions. Kenneth Copeland is one of them, and he's one of the biggest heretics that ever moved. Okay, Creflo Dollar is another, and he's another big, huge false doc, false teacher. Heidi Baker, another one. You know, so really that has got nothing to do with anything. You know, usually what happens is when the Holy Spirit draws us, he draws us with his cords of loving kindness, like he did to me 28, almost 29 years ago. I'll be 29 years a Christian in August this year. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. But he draws us with his cords of loving kindness. And when those people hear the gospel, they were, the Lord has been preparing their hearts. He's been getting them ready to accept him. You know, he, that, that's what he's been doing. Anyway, so let's get back to this. Okay. Then bizarrely, Clayton makes tacit a threat, threats against the elders of Harbour Shore Church and lists vague accusations against the elders and their families. So he writes this. There is so much more I could write about the elder board at, board at Harbour Shores. I could do what, what they've done to me and gossip about their personal lives and sin in the lives of their family members that disqualifies them from being leaders until repentance takes place. While some have encouraged me to expose details about other sin and leadership, I refuse to do so at this time. Perhaps they will be needed in the future. <laughs> you know, this guy hasn't got a clue about church discipline. Every elder and every you know all elders and all people we have what's called the Lord is dealing with their sin and he's bringing it up and he's bringing it out but the thing is that once you repent Clayton had the you know the chance the second that a brother went to him and said okay Clayton you need to repent he could have repented right there and then he said you're right brother I'm really wrong be humble go home and it would have been dealt with like that but he didn't so this is why it's it's escalated and escalated and escalated and escalated until he was thrown back into the world for the for the something to do about the, the flesh you know so that hopefully he will come back but i don't even believe he's saved so this guy really needs to be saved okay so let's go um so that that's the part of the open letter that this um, man is talking about here um, so down we go um, although we have given all information to law enforcement and they will handle things criminally we believe that the best course of action to protect these women is to sing like the <laughs> I love the way he says this to sing like the proverbial canary you better believe it and warn the public that the Jennings camp whether Clayton or a close associate so it would seem is blackmailing these young women to protect Clayton and Dawn. We are currently assessing. Uh, sorry, we are currently assessing how to proceed with the release of more information. But if any such information regarding these young victims is made public, in keeping good with their threats, make no mistake about it. You know the people responsible for it, and their last name is Jennings. And then he writes down here, editor's note, because of the high potential of litigation in this matter, please understand the necessary caveat that all proceeding was my opinion, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so he has to write that down, which I can't really blame him for. So, guys, um, do me a favour, and I, I, you don't have to at all, but please feel free to mirror the Clayton expose video and this video i want to get this around america as much as we can and um, to protect other victims protect other women from this man we know that the law now is in in um involved in this too and um, the fact now that the pastor has been uh, fired just and if you feel if you feel the lord directs you just to pray for this situation at hand 
and um, I would be delighted if you decide on your channels to mirror this video or the other one. Um, I'm not going to be mad with you. This is I'm just a servant to God, and I'm, I'm purely just, you know, someone that God uses, and that's it in the end. Because everything that we have belongs to our precious Jesus. So, I just want to finish this video by praying, Heavenly Father God, we do thank you that you are all powerful and you are all knowing, and you know everything that has gone on in this in this case and continues to go on. Lord, I just pray that your protection over the victims of this man. Lord, I pray that um, the law enforcement, you would just give them wisdom. I pray for all the elders of Harbour Church. Um, and Lord, I just ask you just to protect the new pastor that's coming in now. Lord, I ask you to protect all the people that are in there, Lord. And uh, I do ask you to protect J.D. Hall and, and that ministry, Father. And I ask this in your precious name, I pray. And just to remind you that um, if if the, if I'd say when the audio comes out, I will let you know. I'll, I'll do another update. So that's all I have for you for the moment. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. And may the Lord let his light to shine upon you. And I'll talk to you super soon. God bless and bye for now. Bye bye.